All right, this is grade two, module six, lesson 15. And in this lesson, students are taking one more step uh, through that pictorial stage and towards the abstract stage. And in this lesson, students are going to be using math drawings. So they're going to be doing their own drawing. So we've gone from playing with counters and teddy bears and coins to then we went to that uh, pictorial stage where we were giving them drawings of arrays and whatnot. And now students are going to be drawing their own arrays. We're moving towards that direction, that abstract direction. So let's get started. So the direction says shade in an array with two rows, uh, three rows of two. So what is that going to look like? Well, three rows of two. So let's see, there's a row of two. And there's a row of two, and there is a row of two. So that is what an array, three rows of two, would look like. Now the question also says, write a repeated addition uh, for that array. Now, with this given array, there's two different repeated additions that students could be given. The, the primary one that Eureka Math is pushing our students towards uh, given that this is three rows of two, they want us to write two plus two plus two equaling six, all right? So that's the primary one, and what they're saying is you've got a row of two, a row of two, and a row of two, three rows of two, so two plus two plus two. But of course, that's only saying if your units are the rows, if you're counting by the rows. If you have some students who want to count by the count, uh, column, that is absolutely okay at this stage of the game. Uh, students are able to say, well, I see two columns of three, in which case they would write three plus three is equal to six. And at this point, because we're just kind of foundational, we're moving towards multiplication, it's okay for students to see either repeated addition. Another example We've got shade in an array of uh, four columns of five. So four columns of five. So once again, we're really practicing that um, vocabulary. So parents and teachers, this is where you're really going to want to really think about uh, creating a word wall, uh, some sort of GLAD strategy that is going to allow all your students to access all of this academic vocabulary. And so here we go, there's our four columns of five. And once again, if we're being asked to write the repeated addition for this, Eureka Math being four columns of five. So there's the four columns of five, but Eureka is really going to be pushing us towards the, this is five rows of four concepts. So Eureka is really, and if you look at the answer key, it's going to say the answer is going to look like this because it's really five rows of four, but especially in this problem, because it's spoken, of, you know, it's described in, in terms of columns. So if your students want to say, well, I see four columns of five, so I want to write five plus five plus five plus five, that is absolutely fine as well. Just one last example. It says for students to draw one more row of three, and then one more column to make a brand new array. So this is where students get practice moving towards that abstract where they have to start drawing their own. So one more row of three, that's what I'm going to do. Although, you know, to be honest, your students are very likely to, um, let's see if I could do it in black, do individual squares. So there's an individual square, and then here just use two lines to make another square and two lines to make another square. That's really what we're hoping our second graders will be doing. But then it says, add one more column. All right, so one more column. One, two, three. So what is our new array? Well, our new array is three rows of four. Or we could say four, row, uh, four columns that's misspelled columns. My goodness. Let me fix that for columns of three. 
So we have two ways that our students could think of this. Uh, likely, Eureka Math is going to think of three rows as four as four plus four plus four. Although they, you know, your students could say this is actually four columns of three, in which case they would write three plus three plus three plus three. And either of those are correct. And that wraps up grade two, module six, lesson 15. Students are doing the drawing now as we move one step towards um, the abstract.